And that beep, 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 beep sound <laughs> could only be SJ, couldn't it? Eh? Yeah, she's putting the phone down. <laughs> Jane, going, you're live. <laughs> she's going, you're live. And then cuts off. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot there'd be a beep, 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 beep sound. Good morning, all. Good Me morning. and Jane today for Stitchy Witchy Wednesday. And we are here, and SJ is not. Hence the phoning through to tell us when we're live. I'll be teching a little bit, so apologies if I'm tapping. Um, and SJ's on tech as well, so any queries, questions, we will be answering those. Well, lovely Jane is going to take us through a beautiful make this week. It's rather pretty, isn't it? It's amazing. It's a lovely collection from You're Modo. A clever lady. Promenade. Clever, clever lady. Promenade by Three Sisters, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, Three for Sisters Moda. for Modo. Yeah. Really pretty, romantic collection. I don't know if anybody's spied what's behind Gemma. Look at those gorgeous colours. They came! We they were waiting for them. If you were watching yesterday, up. we were hoping they'd arrive before the show, but of course they didn't. We they really arrived were. like five minutes after we'd finished yesterday, literally. Absolutely. So, Monday we were supposed to be able to put these lovely bumbleberries up. John Cole Morgan was with us for those who've missed this week. In fact, if you have missed this week, uh, Natasha's not here. She's sunning herself. She's having a well-deserved holiday. Is. She is. And John Cole Morgan was with us on Monday, taking us through his summer quilt block eight i think yes yes, yes. yes. So he's flying through that quilt now and we were supposed to be able to show you beautiful new bumbleberries now there's about three or four of these that are ones we've restocked we have more in the warehouse as well but the vast majority of these 20 are the new autumn winter bumbleberries and you'll see that it says a slash w22 in the title um, we also have a very special glow in the dark bumbleberries which is rather clever yes um, and then we wanted to show these on Monday. Yes, there's Two a couple of, them of metallics, isn't there, as well? <coughs> yeah, the yeah. silver and a beautiful gorgeous copper one. Now, these were supposed to all come last Thursday, but they sent two bolts last Thursday, yes. and all the others got split up and put into somewhere in Cannock, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, we've chased and chased and chased them, so they're finally here. So, yes, we didn't get to show these Monday, but we have got them today, so there's a lot to show you today. We also, yesterday, had a gnome show, didn't we, Jane? We did. We did. Fabulous gnome makes. There were several that we had. Jane had been busy from a beautiful book. These here were supposed to be here as well because they're gnome fabrics. So we'll show you those shortly. Ha! Huh. So it's all been a bit of a faff, hasn't it? We've not yes. had what we needed. Well, but we managed. And we gave a, I think it was an enjoyable show for everybody yesterday. It was yes. really nice. It was. Some lovely things. It was. Some nice sparkles as well. In fact, Beryl's gone, hasn't she? Bless her. Beryl was in here, our mannequin, with her apron on, with a gnome on the front. Yes. So that was really cute. Gnome cute. appetit. Yeah, <laughs> on the book. Gnome appetit. It's lovely. Uh, we had a quilt that Jane had made, a lovely sort of, uh, well, you could use it as a mat on your table, a wall hanging, or yes. you know, it could have gone as a little quilt for a baby, couldn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Nice um, little play mat. And you demonstrated a brilliant go big or go gnome yes. quilt. Which was a rather Clever. lovely book. Very simple book very yes. effective so lots of makes yesterday lots and lots yes and uh, yes today however this is a, a really classic beautiful applique big today one. Yeah. just a lovely traditional block that goes together really nicely i love this one jane a beautiful collection of fabrics clever clever ladies and we've stunning. got a kit together for the quilt <coughs> we um, have some of the fabrics will be available by the half meter yeah. but not all because they've gone into I the put, kit i put them all up there was a tiny squiddly bit of some but they've gone um so yes amazing exciting stuff yeah and we've had a bit more sparkle as well because yes, our we're craft a bit corner of sparkle in our craft corner at the we moment are. so craft corner has been a hot spot for you since we've launched it natasha for those of you who don't know managed to get hold of <coughs> some stock that was at an irresistible price and rather than put the proper retail price on these things she excitedly as a clappy hands crafter went yes. i can let everyone have this at great prices so there are bundles big bundles small individual items all sorts of things there's not huge quantity of anything and once it's gone, it's gone. We will not be able to get it back. And even if we did, it certainly wouldn't be at those prices. No. So yes. we have got a sparkly bundle, actually. Lovely. We'll perhaps look at that in a moment. A couple yes. here. And of we course, we're going them. to give you a little preview of the Half Meter Heavens. Yes, of course. Um, so we had a bit of fun, do. didn't we? Because we went, we did. We went through the warehouse, because Natasha's not here. Um, <laughs> we went through the warehouse and we all chose a fabric. We did. That we could then put a plane with. So we've got some of 
our fabrics in the halfway to heaven. We have. Which is quite good fun. We have. And you, you regularly will help Natasha with the choosing. Yes, but I, I grabbed yeah. each member of staff and got them to choose yeah. one, which was great. We have lots of hellos, so we better, better let you know yes, who's let's here, say Jane. Hello back. Yeah, let's let you know who's here. We've got Jenny Totterdale. She says, Morning, lovely ladies, on the hot day. It is hot. It is hot. It's really warm. Yeah, I um, think the world decided they were going to work early, judging by the cra oh, crazy know. way that they, everybody was on the motorway this morning. Yeah. Can't blame them. And you get here really early <laughs> as well, so I dread to think do. how it was. I deliberately come after. early. It's my choice. Yes. I deliberately come early to avoid the traffic on the motorway. But not this morning. I think everybody had got the same idea. Let's go early so we can get out of the hot heat of the day, get home before the heat of the day exactly. gets really Exactly. I dread to think how busy it would have been an hour or two later. Oh, Blimey. Rona says, good morning, lovely ladies. This quilt is beautiful. It is. She's clever. <laughs> it's Jane's design, so we'll go through that. That'd be lovely. Sue Chadwick's with us, as is Jane Vivash. Elizabeth Krangle says, good morning, lovely ladies and friends. We're all friends here. Yes, we are. Claire Angelina says, morning, Gemma and Jane. I'm back sat outside a library doing crochet while the kids attend an activity centre. She's living the dream oh, when these kids go there. That must be quite nice, actually, mm. just, just mm. to sit and do some crochet outside. Lovely. Absolutely. Uh, Lisa Taylor says, oh, so many beautiful bumbleberries. Good morning, ladies. I am a massive bumbleberries fan. We love them, don't we? We do. Are we going to get them off the shelf and show them to everybody in a little while or are we going to leave them looking beautiful in their rainbow form? Well, I'm, I'm aware that you have to look them. Yes. There's a lot to go through. <laughs> there is a well, lot. I think you can see. I think, I think you, you can, can see. see the if there's any in colours. particular that you need to know about. The then. middle shelf obviously is my yep. favourite. Of course. <laughs> Just the take the middle shelf. We do have some metallics. So the bumper berries at the top here is a uh, glow in the dark. But the metallics, we have this one here, which is a copper. Now, that's a restock. That's, C, uh, that's Bumbleberries 272, which is the copper metallic. We then have the silver metallic. I think that's a restock as well, Jane, which is 149. Is, yeah. And then the one underneath here is the cream pearl, which is 148. The vast majority of the rest are the autumn winter collection. And they're all loaded onto today's products for you on the Watch Live page. They're all... They do this, Lewis and Irene do. They'll mm. bring out their collection of bumbleberries and they all coordinate with the colours within their autumn collection of yes. fabrics. So you'll find that the um, the gnomes one, the reds and the oranges yeah. and those and the and the um, tealy blue yes. will all coordinate with the bumbleberries within the collection, which this is a lovely thing to do because it's always yeah nice to have. I think bumbleberries are great because they're not as, as flat as planes. They, they give you that blender. bit of movement, yeah. bits of texture within your quilt, which is lovely. They're a lovely blender and there are five in particular that Lewis and Irene have assigned to go with the gnome fabrics. Yes. So I've put those in the collection. If you look on the Watch Live page or the Workshop Wednesday page, you'll see that I've put them together in with the fabrics so that yeah. you can see them and they're the ones they recommend to go with that but like Jane rightly says if you were to pick the red for example which isn't in those five it's the right tone they've they've done that yes um bumbleberries for those of you who don't know about them there are lots of subtle different colors within a bumbleberry aren't there Jane so yeah they we'll just do show some, one. something crazy don't they like um something seven or something some different seven. colors you'll see on the yeah, you can see here on the salvage look, seven colours. We'll go into so that and have a look. That's seven layers of print on yeah. there to get that depth. And it's very subtle, so it gives it sort of a very sort of 3D textured feel to it. And it does, it, it works beautifully as a... If we lift this as well, we can have a look and as just a see. Blender. Because it's really clever how we have... There we go. Switchy, switchy, please. Come on, camera. Oh, it's going to play silly what's it's with me again, Jane. Let's see if we can get it across. There we are. But the beauty of them is that they blend so nicely, and that is ultimately what they're for. I love them anyway. I'm quite happy yeah. to just do a Bumbleberries quilt. But uh, yeah, because they'll work. If you've got um, a modern a modern quilt pattern that's that's plain, yeah, your Bumbleberries will work as a good alternative to the to the planes as well. But yeah, if we have a look, for example, you can see how it picks up. Yeah, but all colours. these different tones that you've got through here, you'll find within a bumbleberry. Clever, clever stuff, Jane. They're a lovely fabric and a lovely, they as are. always, with, with Lewis and Irene, a beautiful base cloth. So it's a really good quality 
fabric. Really beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, if, we, if we heard a bingy bing a little moment ago, that was Natasha sending me a message during the show. I'm not reading that. She shouldn't be she's watching. She should be relaxing on the beach with her feet up. She's, she's gossiping. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even like it's relevant to work. You can tell she's in relaxed mode. Yes. She hasn't twigged. She's even forgotten what you time it is. You know how she says, who's ringing me at just gone 10? Do they not know I'm on it? <laughs> Who's messaging me at Just Gone 10? Do they not know I'm on <laughs> Dear me. Uh, Sue Chadwick's with us and Jane Vivash, I think I've said. Let's see who else we've got. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely people. Ah, oh, this is so nice to have you all with us. Anne Albon says, the quilt is beautiful and lots of tempting fabrics behind you with a toadstool. So I feel we'll have to show those in a moment. Yes, absolutely. Oh, Pam Sumner says, I love the quilt. It looks amazing. Thank you. Morning, ladies. Lovely to see you both. Oh, 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 everyone's so nice. nice. Lovely. Should we have a look at our, yeah, our Nomi like fabrics? These I'm are so, so <laughs> cute. Gemma had said they've got some gnome fabrics coming, and I hadn't had a preview of, of, of the Lewis and Irene fabric. No. And so when they arrived yesterday, I was just like, oh, no, why weren't these available for the show? Look at those. It's, it's a source of great frustration, because yesterday we did do the gnome show, and I wanted to be very clear that a gnome is for life and not just for Christmas. Um, because this these are lovely. very much... They're Autumnal, called, aren't yes. they? This is snuggle season, which, I mean, autumn for me is snuggle season. I love yes. it. But you these are look at these autumnal gnomes. Their hats join together to oh, make a little So heart. sweet. So sweet. I know, look. Look at the little pumpkin house. Can we go close up, Gemma? Yeah, of course we can. There's so much detail on this pattern. It's beautiful. There we go. Look. There we are. I'm going to bring it a bit closer. Isn't it lovely? I like the, the mustard tone house. in this as well, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Really gorgeous. The sunflower in yeah, there. Yeah, the pumpkin house is so cute. It's lovely. And as I say, this one here. And I like the hand-drawn looking elements to it as well, yeah, you know. And you've got like the little outlines. squigglies and, yeah, beautiful. Really beautiful. And look, he's holding a brew there. He's sat on a pumpkin having a cuppa. I just pumpkin. love it. A little hot chocolate, probably. Yeah. Because we love hot chocolate in the winter. Love it so awesome. much. So we've got that with, um, that's on light sage. It is. Which is sort of like a duck eggy blue, isn't it, really? It is. And then we have it on cream, which has got a another sort of, it's the same pattern, but it's got a, a warm tone to it is rather lovely and the hats are like that tealy blue colour there rather than the brown like they are on the on that one absolutely and then the coordinating fabric that we've chosen with that is just the pumpkins and the squashes so again this one is on light jade and that picks up the jade colour within the hats and the background sketching on the on the cream it does and then we have it <coughs> on cream pumpkins on cream they're lovely aren't they and that works really well with the um, light sage because again this the squashes and the pumpkins on here are the same color excuse me it's great isn't it so you've so got these will mix and match beautifully fabrics, won't they we? yes and it's called snuggle season isn't it you said that i did you did say i did that. yes so lewis and irene are i mean i think most of you know that i'm a bit of a lewis and irene devotee I do love their fabrics, they're absolutely gorgeous. The bumbleberries that they've chosen for these ones, like I say, I've put them put them up. Should um, we go close up on the um oh yeah, can on do. the pumpkins? Because uh, there's so Switch much detail in. in there. There's toadstools in there as well and berries. Lovely, aren't they? Look at that. That's the rich, rich colour tones. They're really lovely. And the ones the, the bumbleberries that they've chosen to go with these are the um bb40 which is an older one it's a cream yes uh sage 310 i'm trying to remember now look at me trying to get it off the top of my head there is pumpkin sycamore leaves here on on here they're lovely the aren't pods. they i don't know it, I, we used to um, have races with them as children yes. helicopter seeds we used to call yes. them yes um you see lewis and irene always say that autumn is their favorite season yes um so what I they've think done it, i think for quilts yeah it's the perfect isn't it just yeah it's a little bit chilly and so having a quilt on your knee is just the perfect you know opportunity for making quilts i just love that absolutely what they've pattern. said they've done with this collection is to take some of the things that you'd associate with autumn being their favorite season and 
feature them all over these fabrics so that it's and then, a as I say, we've got nice time to snuggle and cosy up. Light jade colourway as well, which is really lovely and it's got more of a terracottas and things in that one. It has. For those that are looking for the official matching bumbleberry, according to Lewis and Irene, you'd be looking for BB40, which is the cream, 310, which is sage, the brand new 316 mustard, again, brand new 321 pumpkin spice, and another one from the new collection, 326, which is deep forest. Lovely. So those are the ones you'd be looking for. Um, they are, she says, deep forest will be this one. Sage is this one, and then we've got <clears throat> for those two this one here, and then pumpkin spice up there. But like we said, Jane, if you were to grab, say, the red here, yeah, which is for those who want to know, berry red 322, of course, it's going to go in beautifully. Yeah, similarly, the copper metallic would look, look insane, wouldn't yeah. it? Absolutely beautiful with it. So, uh, yes. Really lovely collection. Very sad those weren't around for our Nomi show. Yeah, so they would have been perfect. <sighs> it would have been perfect, but they're here now. Yes. So please grab those. Yes, they are available sound. by the half metre. What else we've got, Jane? We've got some sparklies. We do sparklies. You love a bit of sparklies, don't you? We love the sparkles. We do. What have we got? Oh, I've got no, Bundle A and Bundle B. Perhaps we should do Bundle B, Bundle A first, first. you think? Yes. Yes. So SJ has given us snowflake and flower, and flower embellishment, embellishment bundles. I'm so excited. I don't know what's in these, so it's very exciting no, when know. we open them. <laughs> we'll like go Christmas. into overhead. Oh, look, we've got lots of lovely things in here. Ribbon sliders, snowflake diamantes with diamantes and pearls. It's a whole pack of snowflakes Oh, there. these are lovely. Look at these. They're like crystals, but they're... Oh, well, they're sweet, aren't they? They're lovely. They're not glass. They're, they're um, perspex. Yes. But they'd make beautiful, gorgeous Christmas decorations. Now, for Just those them who remember, wire. yeah, for those who remember us selling these snowflakes individually, you know, they're, they're a lovely item. They were not the cheapest. We've got 10 of those in here. Wow. Let me have a little look in close up so that we can see. We'll have fun, shall we, and yeah, see. Try and Apparently, if stuff. I try and get this so that you're hiding the, what was it I told yesterday? Left, right. So that you're hiding the needle threader. Apparently, it will start to... Focus was my top tip given to me go. by a viewer. <laughs> there go. I'm glad you all know my job better than I do. Well done. But look at the sparkle on these. They're so, you know, lovely. they'd be worth one pound odd each, surely, or more. You get ten in this bundle, as well as having... Oh, no, this... See, a lot of these are in the plastic. You can't see them as well, look. Well, some of them we can open because they're resealable bags. Yeah. Others are... Sealed. I might have to one. take this one out of its plastic. There you go. You can pop your hand up there. Bring it up. You don't want my hands up. Go in front of the. Oh shush. Go in front of the needle threader. Apparently, if go we that way, the needle. You have to go the I other know way. you can't tell which way's up, down, left, and right when you're on camera, can you, Jane? Go backwards. There, there it is. is. Stop. Don't move. <laughs> like it's all the fun. We suddenly have There's a new diamond is in there. Yeah. You can just see those catching the light, and then pearls in the middle. And just yes, to give an idea of perspective on this as well, there is the other one. I've just taken it out of the size of my hands compared to Oh, yours. shush. I am a She's little so hobbit. delicate. Tiny little hobbit. Of course, I've got tiny little hobbit hands. I'd look rather silly with bigger hands. <laughs> just, you could put brooch backs on these. You could. Or even just simply thread fishing wire through them and hang them on your tree. And, look you know, paper crafters as well. We've also said, you know, you could make a lovely little clutch bag and pop this onto the front of a clutch bag. Can you imagine? Just a beautiful velvet clutch with one of these on. Absolutely stunning. You buy these bundles, you're suddenly not stuck for gifts, are you? Because you're going to be able to make the most beautiful things. That one's got a seal on the bag. I'm not going to take it out the bucket, but I think you'll get the idea of size. With that, she says, lock the needle for the hope for the best. There we go. Thanks, Auntie Lizzie, for the top tip. <laughs> And you've got these we'll forget this now. snowflake crystals. Look at those. There's, There's a whole no bunch bridges. of stuff Three here. Three of those within that pack. Yep. And yeah. they'd look lovely on cards or even just strung together with um, pretty thread. And lovely. On your tree. I wonder if you could use some, um, you know, the ink pens that you can get as well. Yes. You could, you could do all sorts with that. with that. This is really sweet. Look at that. And there's crystals and pearl effect there as well, Beautiful. instead of a marquise cut. 
really beautiful. You know, even if, like you said, you just want it, if you're going on a night out, you wanted a very quick thing to pop in your hair, yeah, just get it on a, a get it on a clip. We did have our clip um, hair clip and beautiful brooch back bundles. There, yes, the square down Montes are lovely. Then the pair ribbon slider. I think we've showed this before. We have. We had those separately, but we've They're popped really that into this bundle as well. One of those in the bundle. We uh, happen to have found in the stash of those, so <laughs> they've gone into Wonderful. this bundle. It's um. Yeah, if I turn it that way slightly, it takes the shine off the perspex, the plastic. Yes. Bag, so. Well done. That's really pretty. So yes, and the, the little square diamante toppers. You get ten in this packet. Let's just see if we can isolate one. I think you can see. Again, They're very sparkly, just gorgeous. But lovely through paper crafting as well. You know, if you're just doing a really simple card. To be able to pop that on as a detail, I'd love that as the middle of Santa's um, belt, you know, as his buckle, sparkly, oh, yeah, bling that'd look buckle. Lovely, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Look great, wouldn't it? Oh. <laughs> and there's a bag of, of um, what did you call Aurora them? Borealis Aurora Borealis beads. Because they've got yes. multicolour in them. So there's all different with shapes. With beads and in crystals, there. when you have a clear bead, it's, it's clear like you'd yeah. expect. But when they've got this sheen to them, we call that an AB or Aurora Borealis flip which is northern lights isn't it that's yeah. where that comes from quite it's rightly got so the colors it's got in it. all the colors there it's, it's a bit muted because we've got the plastic on there as well but yes they are lovely but they're they've got um double holds it holes in each of the beads so you could string those through to make jewelry jewelry makers among us or people who yeah. like to make um dangly things you know um sun catchers is the word i was looking for yes there. yes 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 and dream catches and all sorts oh, as well. Yeah. You could add a little sparkly detail into there too. You really are limited by your imagination with these, aren't you? Absolutely. And the thing is, these are an item. They're not going off. They'll sit in your stash. They're small. They'll take up no yeah. space. And in, you know, years to come <gasps> even. <laughs> she's oh my gosh. Get very Look excited by this. I'm amazed that Jane hasn't taken it all home. Yeah, yes. well, it's very tempting. This is, this <laughs> Fill is the car. You um, have got some. We both have. Yeah, this is collection B. It is clutching me. I'll let you. Snow, snow I'll let you put that flowers together. Embellishment bundle B. It is. I'll let you put that together while I just see who else has said hello. Oh, lovely. Oh, Julie Archer, Jan Brown, Diane Dewitt. We've got Terry as well. He's with us. Um, oh, who else? Anne Davies says morning, girls. Love being called girls. Yes, we'll isn't go that girls. nice? Uh, Margaret Smith says morning. I'm busy today, so I'll be dipping in and out. In when I need to sit and cool. Yes. Come and sit and cool with us. Yeah. Oh, Auntie Lizzie's asking today. how Tasha's back is. We're not, we're not answering her. We're not going to reply to her. She needs to just go and have a holiday and not be asking me things during the show. Oh, <laughs> we're talking about snuggling and getting comfy under quilts. Oh, lovely. As soon as Claire Angelina gets snuggled and comfy under a quilt, she hears, Mummy! Yes, yes. well, that's, that's a good opportunity to snuggle Summon with your them, boys. Get them under the quilt. Yeah. Absolutely. Lovely. Oh, Christine! Christine, how very flash, she says, I'm watching live on my Juki UX8 whilst quilting a kit. Oh, <laughs> wow, nice. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Look at I feel this. quite it's funny knowing that I'm on a tiny little screen on a Juki. Yeah, mm -hmm. makes you famous. I say tiny little screen. You know what, in, compared to telly, yes. but yeah. good size screen. A good size screen, yes. easy to view. Um, Barbara Winard says, I'm treating myself to the quilt. My beautiful best crossed the rainbow bridge last week, so I need cheering up. Oh, that's oh I'm sad. so sorry, darling. Yes, make this as a lovely tribute. It's just gorgeous. It's really pretty. And snuggle yourself up in this one. Yeah. It, genuinely, we've all gasped when it's come in and then bickered over it. <laughs> even though he wants it, even Izzy are... It's are clearly going are to be tashes, but we've all bickered. I, I'm having first dibs. <laughs> and Jane's there very quietly in the background going, make it so I should probably get first <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh lovely. dear it's lovely but it's Natasha's colours so I can't I it's can imagine that lovely. she will be going no it's mine it's lovely oh my word lots and lots of messages Sue Langford says I've looked through my quilts this morning and told them come autumn when the fuel goes up again it's going to be their time to shine and they're about to come very popular yes this is it so true. All so of those true. Quilts that you've been hiding in your cupboards, get them finished. Get the quilt tops made. Sue Langford, looking at our bundles, it says, "I'm seeing Christmas cracker decorations and/or napkin rings." Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they'd be so definitely. Um, so so true. Oh dear, says Anne. Some gnome fabric has just fallen into my basket with some bumbleberries. Could be you, Anne. Could 
good for yeah, you. It's terrible how it does that, isn't I it? Love it? It's just, you know, falls in without you even noticing. My 17 year old, who generally dislikes everything because that's just, you know, her default <laughs> mode these days, isn't it? She messaged me yesterday saying, I'm really excited for the gnome fabrics. When are they arriving? And I said, They've arrived now. <laughs> I sent her pictures and she was like, OMG, when are they going to be on the show? I want them. Oh, so, yes, I know. She might appear in a little while. Lovely. Oh, yes, lots and lots and lots of people saying hello, including your mum. Oh, hi, Mum. Hi, Kate. Hello. Here we go. Oh, Julia's put herself on a rest from buying since yesterday. Must not look. You're in the wrong place, Julia. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Terry says, cool. what's the qu um, quilt behind you? Oh, I'm so sorry, Terry. Terry girl, not Terry boy. All right. Sorry. Um, Terry, this quilt is the Promenade Tiles quilt. So we are going... Traditional patchworking. Yes. Yeah. yes, we're going to demonstrate that one today. Yes. But first, we'll show you more, some more fabulous... Some more sparkles. sparkles. <laughs> this is Snowflake and Flower Embellishment Bundle B. That's You've right, got some it? more pearl and diamante. I want to say they're buttons, but really they're not because they can't, no, can't they've not sew got them on. Sew but they're embellishments, aren't they? Yes. So you could adhere these on, no bother. Put those onto on earring backs. You can yes. even make a ring with one of those. Look, that would be make a beautiful ring. So this is a similar bundle to the previous one in that you've got the snowflakes again, you've got this one again. But there's just a subtle twist there, isn't there? It's, there's some more yeah. pearl elements to this one. Yeah. Beautiful. So again, you've lovely got your lovely squares. Diamonds and pearls. It's just very Absolutely. pretty. Look at this one. This one's different to the other one, isn't it? Yeah. Clearly, I'm going to take that out of its packet and have a Beautiful good look. brooch or hair embellishment. Absolutely. Let's have a look and see if we can, she says, get that ready. There we are. Oh, look at that. That's really sparkling. Not bad, eh? Look at that. Beautiful. We do. I know. <laughs> we do spoil you. Look at this. I have to say, I just, in every size, I love the snowflakes. And I think these, 10 of these in this bundle, what an absolute treat. So both of these bundles, huge bundles that they are, are priced, Jane, at 9 .99 each. Amazing. It is, isn't it? Because, like you say, you're only limited by your imagination. You've Absolutely. got all this you stock can just here. Do to be all able sorts to make of things. wonderful things with these. Oh, you're gonna, she looks. She's tidying up for me now because I've taken things out and made a mess. <laughs> now Jane's going to tidy it up. Oh, Vicky's just joining. <coughs> Says, "Love the quilt, Jane. It's just gorgeous." And the bumbleberries. Vicky is a bumbleberries fan. Yeah, mm, like me. There's a mirror in her <laughs> room that she's decorated for her son as his. This is keen. Mm, it's incredible, isn't it's it? It's beautiful. She, she has such been a, a busy bee. Job. So Vicky's quite new to uh, sewing, full stop. Yeah. And she's designed a quilt and she's made the quilt. Yeah. And while her son's been on holiday, she has stripped out the spare room that's next to his room and she's made it look like a New York apartment. It looks incredible. It does. So she's painted it. She's put some tape on the walls and painted some fantastic elements to it that are like a charcoal grey colour and then whip the tape off and you've got these beautiful crisp lines Lovely. and put some really nice modern furniture in there with his computer games and stuff and then put this lovely big quilt Alex has chosen the fabrics himself he's quite particular but it just looks like an amazing New York loft department yeah brilliant isn't it Absolutely. So yes we're very proud of her for her sewing and her vision and oh yeah, looks great very artistic. looks great something else she's a fan of however half me, me to, to heavens, heavens. <laughs> Aren't we all? These. We will show you what we've got in store this week. It's been a good old different selection of things this week, yeah. hasn't there? We had a good old rummage. We'll turn that one round because I can't have upside down no, sunflowers. It will not no, do, Jane. Do. And we'll go into overhead and we can show. So this is the Jane Sassaman Mexican Tiles in Green. And you pop that one, Jane. It's amethyst. This here, amethyst. Just picks up this little bit of purple here. It's lovely. And round there. Absolutely lovely. And makes the, the yellows and oranges pop, which is quite an, a nice, it's interesting how colours work and how it changes the effects really of Really good. So that's Jane Sutherland Summer Salsa. Very good. Mexican tile. Lovely. Then we have a Michael Miller fabric. This is which such is, fun. Uh, from the Dino Dance collection. And it's 
basically party dinosaurs. What's not to love? This one's my choice, Jane, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Grabbed this fabric and said, I think that Tash one. wants to make um, Freddie a shirt with this, doesn't yeah. he? Doesn't she? Very possibly. Because he I've loves casually dinosaurs. stolen some of it for the uh, for the half meter heavens. We put that one, Jane, with hot tomato. Yeah, just sits between the reds and the oranges, but rakes it all, brings it all together. It's lovely. Really lovely. Make a nice really lovely swim bag or um, yes, tote bag or cushion. Even you know one of the um, definitely reading reading book cushions. Next up, we've got a little bit of Lisa Chandler, haven't we? Yeah. Who doesn't love a bit of Lisa? So this is butterflies cream pink. Oop, she says that's unfolded too <laughs> much, Jane. That shows you exactly one, how much one too far. Is. Yes, it is. And that one there, you pop with our blush, didn't you? Yes just picks up the, the subtlety we know the depths of color within the Lisa Chandler fabrics but this is just sits nicely in there with the pinks on the butterflies very pretty really lovely then we have some Lewis and Irene now I love this collection this is from the hibiscus hummingbird and these are the scattered hummingbirds on tropical blue again Vicky likes a hummingbird or two they're gorgeous, aren't they? My mum thought she'd seen a hummingbird in the garden this morning. She was very excited, but it's a hummingbird hawk moth, apparently. They're amazing. Still They're exciting. Huge. Still exciting. Yeah. She was shrieking, my dad, my poor dad, who was in the loo. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Les, I'm sure there's a hummingbird in the garden. And he's in the loo. I can hear him on the phone. Don't be ridiculous, Edwina. <laughs> It is tropical out there, but not no. quite tropical enough for I hummingbirds. Know. I thought it would be an, es an escaped one if it was. Yes. But yes, it's a hummingbird hawk That moth. really picks up the it's the pink on the wings of those ones. That's lovely. Absolutely. And again, some more from that collection. Same fabric, but this time on tropical green, Jane. Lovely. Gorgeous. And you pop this one with pink. And, you know, if you wanted to mix and match look at that how lovely that looks perfect it's a great bundle isn't it yeah you get the two really got great a quilt, really Super. really great oh alex has seen the room for the first time this morning and he oh, loves it did he love it Aww. i bet he did I'm really be glad because otherwise all friends won't he? They'll I did, be coming I did sit in it the other day and she said if he doesn't love it that's if he doesn't love it you've got a most amazing craft room. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say I'm going to be moving in. <laughs> no although you could send someone to move in it's great. Now this is Michael Miller this is from the Colour Forms collection. Don't we just love these? I love this. Oh, El just Elm of the, El El the Elephant it reminds me of. Me too because those colours are just perfect yeah, for that aren't they? Absolutely. But yeah Elephant Mosaic this one see? Yeah. There we are. Which one did we put this with, Jane? Is this sapphire or...? Yeah, it's like, like peacock to Peacock. Me. No, you're quite right. Picks up all the blues in there. Really, really lovely. Pretty. I always think on the overhead fabric. camera you can't quite see the vibrancy of the colours. No. Mm. Very difficult, really you know. But just... That would make a gorgeous. fabulous beach bag, wouldn't it? Absolutely now. A beach bag pattern, that would be lovely. Be Fantastic, and actually, if anyone wants a uh, rather beautiful beach bag with elephants on, perhaps keep a little eye on at the Friday deals. Um, SJ's Friday deals, funnily enough, talking of SJ, this is SJ's choice. So, this is a Ruby Star Society starry fabric, and you'll see you've got these beautiful stars here. We just happen to have found the perfect yellow to sit in there with it. Sunshine, it's lovely. And of course, they have the most amazing self edge, don't they, they on do. the Ruby Star Society fabrics? They do. So this one's SJ's choice. It's a nice a selection of, of this, fabric. Yeah. Yeah, really lovely, and the quality on the Ruby Star is just lovely. Well, I it's love part those. of the Moda umbrella group, isn't yes. it? And it's just yeah, beautiful base base cloth that you know you know the quality when you buy Moda fabric. So that was with Sunshine, that last one. This one here is Izzy's Choice. Now, this is an Odile by Earl for Free Spirit fabric. And what we love about this is that you've got that gorgeous pattern, amazing flowers. It, so you're looking at, at you these raspberries, at these flowers, you're not even sure. You're seeing these beautiful swirls, and then suddenly you twig. There's there are snails. Snails. <laughs> snails here, they make beautiful. It's just a lovely fun you can always guarantee a little bit of yep. fun can't you with Odile's fabric? absolutely and when we called Izzy up to choose a fabric she skipped into the aisle 
shrieked and pulled this bolt out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Righto. And we've put that one with jade. It just picks out the, the snail shells great. on there. It's a really great choice for that. It's lovely. What a fun fabric. You could have so much fun with that one. Absolutely. And uh, that whole collection, actually, you sort of look and then you look again, you see something else. That's Clever. always the same with Ideal. You can, when Inga and I were cutting the big velvet panels, every time we go, oh, look, there's this in there. Yeah. <laughs> like, we didn't see that last time. Now, Inga threw us all because we know Inga likes her earthy tones, but she is a massive fan also of the Moda Wildflowers collection. So she chose this one, which initially we sort of went, oh, yes, that looks amazing with chartreuse. And it does. Yes. And it could very easily go with chartreuse. However, it's Inga's choice. And so we looked at lots of different colours and she liked it best with cyan, which actually works beautifully. You put the cyan with it, Jane, and all the colours sort of happily wave at you. Yes. You switch that out for a chartreuse. Yeah. Suddenly, this, the green pops, it doesn't is. it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's worth noting for any of you who are looking at this one. You might want to pop a half metre of uh, chartreuse in your basket as well. Yes. Have that too, spoil yourself. Yeah, because it, it really does. And the two chartreuse and this cyan would look lovely together they would. as well. So that would be a really great little bundle to have there. Yeah. But that's Inga's choice. So that's our Wildflowers by Moda. I think that one's called, here we go, Floral Tossed and Cloud yes. with cyan. Oh, and then we have just a few, just a few, because it was towards the end of the bolt, of the we had these yesterday, but not this colourway. And this is where we did the gone. This is the Festive Stripes and Butterscotch from the Gingerbread Season Collection by Lewis and Irene. Couldn't, uh, couldn't choose anything else really, Jane, could you? No, it's good. I mean, there was the a lot there that you could have gone for, but this. The red sets it off yeah, beautifully. It really does. It it's really a nice, does. A nice fabric to have that'll make lovely festive things. Or not, you don't have to. It's really a nice, nice stripe, trim. it's not necessarily festive, is it? It's It'd be just brilliant for your binding. It'd be fabulous uh, yeah. for edging tea towels, aprons, all sorts Absolutely, of things. Absolutely, yeah. I really Love like stripey that. fabric. Yeah. Look, she's been beautifully fanning. Oh, I just and terrible now for fanning fabric. <laughs> it's been all the fanning this week. Oh, every, everybody's saying, oh no, oh no, you're not helping. <laughs> Oh dear, Vicky says, stop it with the hummingbirds. I just spent a fortune on room stuff. She loves the elephants too. Yes. Who doesn't? Absolutely. Fabric. Julia says, they're not helping me either. I love the hummingbirds and the elephants. My stash is growing quicker than I can sew. Yes, I think the hummingbirds and the elephants will fly out quite quickly. So if they are your favourites, remember, our half metre heavens, they're our weekly deal, they're our Thursday deal. They'll go live at midnight tonight. And yes. we do see those few. Yes. Do you know, last week, midnight. two of them managed to check out and it was literally bang on a minute past midnight. And I thought, have you got them in your basket and checked out that quick? They're like ninjas. Yes. Shopping they know ninjas. Exactly what they want. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, Vicky's thinking she's going to have to go into a second business to <laughs> fund her fabric addiction. It's all right. Absolutely. But, Jane, we have beautiful new fabrics to look at that make the quilts. Yes. We have a quilt kit. We also have two backing fabrics, don't we? These now, are part of the collection and they are, they are. amazing. They will look stunning on any, uh -huh. the back of any quilt, but obviously they're the similar pattern to the, to the um, quilt, so they, they're perfect if Absolutely. you like your backing to match your front. We've got all of the Moda fabrics up by the half metre. Um, like we say, there's a couple that have sold out because the bulk went into the <coughs> kits. Um, there's <coughs> two fabrics that aren't included they, in the kits, yes. so I'm going to show you those. Let's do those first. This one, we know how much Natasha loves the paisley. Yes. And if it's teal and pink, well, then she's just, you know, sold, 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 sold to the lady that. that owns the, the fabric shop. This would be lovely to back a quilt with as well, wouldn't it? If you wanted yeah. something that was a little bit different. This would make beautiful bags as well. Yes, it would. Cushions, all sorts of things in your quilt. What a lovely you know. blouse you'd get out of this too. Yeah, if you really wanted a, a bit more of a modern looking quilt with the, with the pattern I've created, yeah. You could use this instead of the floral, you so you could use it in your border in the middle of your of your block. It's a meter that you would need yes. if you wanted to swap that out from yes. the kit. That would make it, you know, a little bit look, look a little bit more modern. If you wanted to take advantage of the kit, keep the floral back for another project and just buy a meter of this. Great. If, however, you wanted us to create the kit with this in, that could be done. It wouldn't be difficult per se. Just give us a shout and we can do that for you. 
just do a slightly different slightly different kit with this in the middle and around that big border on the outside be gorgeous. really wanted to include this fabric in, oh, in the kit and i just couldn't find how to mm. fit it in <laughs> too much choice jane i love this this is so pretty and i could see beautiful shell tops and things made with this cotton yes. it's such such a lovely delicate pretty pattern really beautiful again this would make really nice summer clothes wouldn't yeah. it yeah Little girls' really dresses lovely. would look lovely in that, wouldn't they? So this is your climbing vine in Sky. Uh, both of these are by the half metre only. They're not included in today's kit. But they are... St well, they they're, mode are. they're mode of fabrics. They're good quality cotton. You just, you just know the quality you're going to get with mode of fabric. You it's do? wonderful. I'll show you the other fabrics within yes. um, the kit so you can be able to see them because all the other fabrics are used within the kit. So yes. we can have a close look at those as I go through the kit. Yes. The next fabric that's underneath, actually, the ones that you've just shown us, Jane, so yeah. that third one down this one. is the same yeah, as the one of the backing fabric, isn't it? So yes. rather than you lifting that on, let's lift those on and then you've not got as much to Ooh. do. Oh, I love, a little little note. Note. I love this note, it says, our effort to continue to bring the finest quality 108 inch fabric in the industry. We ask for your patience as folding and rolling such a wide goods is sometimes quite challenging. Please give a little extra attention when cutting this fabric to ensure the requested yardage is cut correctly for your customer. Mm -hmm. A little spritz of water and a light iron should make this fabric as smooth and flat as a West Texas highway <laughs> in the moonlight. <laughs> Thank you for your understanding. We appreciate your business. I just love that note. Every time I, I, I see it, it just makes me smile. This feels amazing. It's almost got like a sateen yes. feel to it. It's beautiful. It's 108 wide. We have it in this lovely... It, I want to say it's grey, but it's not. It's got no. like um, a pinky movie tone to it, really. I don't want to say beige. It certainly that's does. Right. So <laughs> officially, it's cloud. Yeah. And officially, this is sky. Yes. But these are your 108 super wide quilt backs. Um, the code on them is 108002. This is colorway 11, and this is colorway 13. You I've done something so a little bit. Hey, it. it should be. Oh, well, we look! It's, it's done not. that thing where it says oh, take over session. About it. We've got I press the button and it's we've crashed. Got donuts. It does this. Right. They've done something a little bit naughty with this. I have. Have you? Mm. Is this because Natasha's not here? Yes, it is. Oh, um, so <laughs> the new collection is up. The, the standard width fabrics that are seven ninety five a half meter, which is our competitive price that we bring. These will be fourteen ninety nine, which is also again competitively priced. I have, however, put an introductory price on these of twelve ninety nine a half meter. Wow! So that's four pounds a meter off for today. Because I know That's what it's like, Jane. That's an ordinary metre is some mode of fabric. Are you mad? <laughs> now, let's not have a fit, Jane. <laughs> it's not polite. <laughs> so what, we, what I wanted to do, because it's a big old quilt. It is. And I wanted to give everyone the chance to be able to go beautiful on the front and the back yes. so that it looks great. You will need two metres of your backing fabric. Thank you. Excellent. And you so will have... A nice little piece left over for something else. Oh, well, who's like matching that? cushions? Exactly. And yes, <coughs> twelve ninety nine and a half metre. Twelve ninety nine and a half metre instead of fourteen ninety nine. Because we can. She shouldn't go on holiday well. and leave me in charge, should she? Eh? Hey. Well, yes. So if you do <laughs> see this, Karen, <coughs> and think it would make a really beautiful dress, um, or if you see it and think it would just be perfect on the back of your quilt, you're right. I would, you know, I would invest offer. in some of this because this can be used. Can we go with everything? Everything. Yes. Any quilt would look stunning with the, with the cloud on the back because it it will blend with with any anything you're making. It would. And so those there, it's called fancy dress, isn't it? I think yes. in the in the normal range. Yeah. This and this are the same. They are the but same. This is the 108. Same scale. Same the rest pattern. of the fabrics you've got there, then that top one in the English roses. Yes. is the big print that we have all around the outside here and then in the centre block. That's yes. where your English roses is there, isn't it? Yeah. The next one down is your fancy dress, and which again is the same print as here, but with that colourway. So you've got your white back cloth and then that gorgeous tealy colour in the front. Lovely. You've got two beautiful floral patterns there. You've got you little bouquets on this one. 
and then little ditsy teeny pink. teeny tiny ditsy i mean it just looks lovely in here yeah but it, it is the most perfect print tone. you look and you can see all the detail in the little flowers yeah and it's just like we've taken one of these other prints and shrunk it right down yeah it's beautiful they are lovely. We'll be able to see those fabrics in the kit and that's much easier for Jane to show you than lifting lots of big heavy bolts of fabric. So this is your tiny ditsy, isn't it, actually, yeah. that's on the top of here. Do you want we'll to? Go into overhead. So you've got a long quarter of that one, I think. It's a long quarter. So that one is called Cut Flowers, which is 4428413, and that's in that sky colourway. And then this is Bouquets, isn't it? Yeah, Bouquet Toss, which is 4428313. This is the same fabric, there's slightly more of one than the other, but they yes. are... So these are your tea rows. Same print, but different colour backgrounds. So you've got one exactly. on the creamy colour and then this lovely... I would say it was like a tealy duck egg. Yes, so you have it cloud and sky, cloud. but they're both... The print is tea rows. Beautiful roses and flowers within that. And then we've got this lovely um, fancy dress, it's yes. called. And you've got a good piece of, the, of both of those for the, the sashing. Yep. This one is cloud sky because you've got cloud in the background and sky at the front. And then the other one is just sky. So you've got a good piece of that. And then you've got um, a metre piece of the English garden. Main, mm -hmm. main print, which is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. It is stunning, isn't it? Just lovely. Now this kit here um, should price out at $75.99. Again, we've put an introductory price on this kit today only at $69.99. Wow. So if you want to make the quilt, you get your fabric kit for $69.99. We do have the instructions available as well. This is our plain, our plain oh, ivory. Yes, of course, there's plain in there as well. So you forget Which, how big this kit is. Yeah, it's... Um, our ivory, which complements these um, creams that are you in You get a metre and a quarter of that as well, don't you, Jane? Yes. It's, a, it's a big old kit. There's nearly five and a half metres of fabric here. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a good a size. It's a big old it kit. It makes, is it a 60, 60 inch square kit um, Is it quilt? 61 by 61, something like something that? Something like that, yeah. around there. Yeah, it's a nice big one. Claire, Angelina, you'd get you and the kids under it, no bother. <laughs> They'd love snuggling under that one, wouldn't they? They would. They would. They would. No, it's, right. a, it's a good one. It's a good so one, shall Jane. We start, shall I show you how to do the block? I'll do, show you how to do the block and the bit of sashing that goes with. Lovely. And then um, we've Full got colour pattern. instructions, as always. Look at those beautiful photographs that Gemma's oh, taken. Oh, let's go over here. Little peep. All the cutting instructions, as always, are all listed. I've listed the fabrics as fabric A, B, C so that you can um, look at them within your... I've put a description using loosely based on the fabrics that I've used. You'll be able to work out from the description which fabric is which and of course you can always look back on the YouTube video and you'll be able to see you know we always say read through the instructions before you start so you'll yes. be able to, to get a good gauge of which fabric I've used where it's if the make yourself a brew rule, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. If you're going to use your own fabrics within, within a pattern, I always say go through and make a note of which fabric is fabric A in your quilt and then go through the instructions and just change it within the instructions. It always helps you to follow through what you're doing if Top you're tip, not Jane. using the actual kit. Yeah. Top tip. So there we go. That's that one. Right. So the block itself is a very is a traditional block it's called Ohio Star it's a very simple quilt um, block quite a traditional one goes back quite a long way I think um, quarter square triangle so that is the main unit or hourglass and then we use half square triangles that I've just adapted slightly to get that other little print in the corner so you're going to have one of your background your plane and your blue pattern and then one of your cream pattern and your blue pattern as well. On the reverse of your two cream fabrics, just mark the diagonal from corner to corner, starting from the middle. It's like sounding like a broken record. <laughs> they were like, 
um, on Zay Ball's show this morning on the way to work, they were saying, what is the phrase you use most at work? Oh, I gosh. think it, it had come from one of the chicken places where she'd said, how spicy do you like? would you like that? And she said, if I have to say that once more, I think I might have my notice. <laughs> oh. So they, they started this discussion then about what was the phrase you use most. One, one teacher, she said, I work with early years um, school children. And I think the phrase I use most is, don't do that. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> don't do that. You do say that quite a bit. Yeah. Um, please don't do that. <laughs> please do it this way instead. And I was thinking, mine is, draw a diagonal from corner to corner and so quarter of an inch either side. Yes, <laughs> which it. is fine. I like that one a lot. So but these techniques, they all build up. They do. It's quite comforting when I read a pattern and it starts out with that, Jane, because I go, oh, yes, <laughs> I know where I am with this. This makes sense to me. Yeah. I know where I am with that, so that's fine. That I can do. Well, I would like it if my tech would show it. There we go. Let's get you <coughs> in shot sewing there, Jane. You there know, we are. And everyone so can see, see what, what you're doing. doing. <laughs> Quarter inch either go. side of the marked line. And then we're going to cut along that marked line so that we create two half square triangles. Gemma, I didn't put the iron on. Would you mind popping oh, the iron on, Oh, of course please? I can. No bother. I think it's been unplugged and everything. Yes, we it has. Because we were extra careful last safety, night before safety. we left. Natasha will be pleased to know. It's all right. I'm on the floor. We're okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's back up again. That's the most important thing. I am. Yeah, that's a good point. I wasn't sure. <laughs> So I'm going to press both of these so that the seam falls under the blue fabric. So to do that, I traditionally place it with the blue fabric facing upwards. Yep. And then I'll press that. So set the seam and then I'll press it up and away. And that way, if I have the fabric facing up that I want the seam to fall under, it always goes that way. So I know that if I've got the fabric I want the seam to go under, I have it facing upwards and that will always work. Thank you. I didn't want to reach across you. <laughs> no, that's fine. Because knowing me, I'd land on your keyboard and it'd make something really I'm not awful sure it's happen. hot enough yet, to be honest. I can do some more for you if you like. It'll do the so, yeah. yeah. It'll do what we need. And you know the pressing in quilting, the one thing I learned from you, the pressing is equally as important as the sewing. It can be. It can it can really give a good finish to your yeah. quilt and it you know and having your seams facing the right way also makes life easier it for does. you when you come to nesting your seams. Obviously, I am just literally pressing those. I don't iron like this when I'm doing that no. because it, I am on a bias. Smooshing. <laughs> Smooshing it around is not okay, is it? I'm on a bias and yep. it will distort my, my block. So we end up with two half square triangles with our two prints and two half square triangles with our plane and our print. Lovely. So now we're going to take those and on the one with the plane, on, we're going to mark the diagonal from corner to corner in the opposite corners to the seam. I find this way of doing quarter square triangles, or it's called an hourglass block as well. Sometimes okay. people know it as an hourglass. Um, it's so quick. You make you make from two squares. You make two, you know, four blocks within. Moments. And this is the thing, isn't it? There are different ways to do things. Nothing is, you know, right or wrong per se. No. But if you can find a way that's quick and easy, yeah, great. We love it. So I'm now placing these together so that the two seams are against each other. And I have my plain fabric on top of my blue pattern and my blue pattern on top of my cream pattern. Marvellous. And the seams, because we pressed both of those half square triangles towards the blue, those seams will now lock into each other. So we know now that when we're sewing them, we're going to end up with a lovely 
sharp point where the where the point where the seams meet which is always lovely because sometimes you know that's one of the hardest things isn't it getting your seams to meet nicely oh absolutely oh, we can hear the iron heating up now <laughs> it's clicking away clicking away so we're going to sew quarter of an inch either side of the seam And we can chain piece these, you know, you're making nine blocks all together. What I always suggest is when you're doing the pattern for the first time, maybe make one block. Yes. See how it goes together. And then once you've got that method in your mind, you can then go on and chain piece the rest that you need to make. Speedy, speedy like. Yeah. Marvellous. But I always think, make one block first and then be sure that you understand everything before you then go on to do the rest. Because there's nothing if worse than if you make a mistake with all of them all in one go. Oh no, Jane, that would be really upsetting. And so we cut these in half, again along that marked line. And we press these, um, it doesn't really matter because you're going to have one of the seams going over your, under your cream. That one's just slightly come out slightly, so it's not exactly in the middle, but this one gives us a perfect, a perfect block. I'm not going to unpick it and reposition it, it's hardly noticeable. And when it's in the complete quilt, you won't be able to see it. So you end up to know, Jane. <laughs> it's always good to know. With four quarter square triangles, um, hourglass units, whichever way you like to call them. Lovely. And I'll just press those yeah, gems sure. and then it's fine. Oh, do you want me to do them? Yeah, that'd be that lovely. Right? Thank you. And while Gemma's doing those, we're gonna then make the half square triangles that make the initial corner um, blocks on here. So again, we've got two plain background fabrics, the cream, and then two of the um, fancy, fancy dress it's called, isn't it? Yes. And on the wrong reverse side, which you can't really tell the reverse side of your fabric when it's a plain, there, are, there is a line of thought that if you feel the fabric, the, pla the, the wrong side feels very slightly rougher than the front side, that it's very difficult it to tell. It is difficult to tell, isn't it? And it's not an obvious, it's not an obvious difference, you know, it's, a, it's, it's dyed all the way through, so there's no... Sometimes you'll get a plane that's printed and you can obviously see that the one is the reverse and one isn't, but with our planes they're, um, they're dyed fabric, so they're, they're pretty straightforward all the way through. So right sides together, and we're going to sew a quarter of an inch either side of the seam. Perfect. Okay, so we cut those and we'll cut those along that um, marked line to create four half square triangles. And again, we're going to press those so that the seam falls underneath the blue fabric. So I'm going to place those with the blue fabric on the top. Okay. And just grab the iron from yeah, you. Yeah, of course you can. There we go. Set the seam 
and then just press that up and away to create four half square triangles. There we go. Thank you, Gemma. It's all right. So yeah. now you've got those. We've got the little um, ditzy floral fabric and the four squares for that. And we're going to mark the diagonal on these squares. But this time, when we place these on the fabric, we're actually going to sew on the line. So mark the, heart, the diagonal line. corner to corner on all four squares. Obviously when you're making nine blocks you're going to have more than just four squares to mark the diagonal on. Absolutely. Um, I think it's probably worth marking all your diagonals before you start. Just save your time in the long run. Oh, Becky's joined us. She says, morning ladies, so many beautiful things again. It's too much to choose from, not complaining, but the bank manager might. <laughs> <laughs> this is the trouble, isn't it? So we're going to place that pretty um, small square. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to have a drink of water. Oh, Lisa Chandler's with us as well. She says, oh, hello, hi, lovely Lisa. ladies. <laughs> I'm enjoying listening to you whilst working on a new project for Natasha Makes. Ooh, Intriguing. Exciting. She says, love this quilt today. Please be sure to play up a bit whilst you know who, <laughs> whilst you know who is away. We have, Lisa. Have you seen the prices? We've definitely <laughs> been playing up while she's away. Yeah. For sure. So you're placing those squares in the corner of the pattern fabric with the diagonal line running across that corner. And we're now going to sew on the line this time. Okay. And again, we can chain piece that. It's quite easy to do. You may find it easier to pin your square on before you start sewing. Again, there's no right or wrong way. I don't pin to save time. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm very accurate sometimes, but... It's whatever you're comfortable with, isn't it? As long yeah. as you're getting the result that you need, Jane, that's, you know... Um, we all do things out the way that suits us and makes us feel happiest and I think that's the most important thing. To enjoy the process of creating this lovely quilt. So we're now going to cut, just, just snip through those threads there, and we're going to cut the corners off these um, triangle. So we'll place the quarter of an inch mark of the ruler on that sewn line and we'll just trim that triangle away. You could of course mark half inch away from that mark line and sew on both of the lines and then when you cut the quarter of an inch you'd have some little half square triangles for your stash to be used later for another project or something like that. There is a lot, so you might want to do that because you could make a little cushion that would match. That would be so nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. I love half square triangles. They're so versatile. When you put them together, you can create so many patterns with them. I really can. It surprised me, actually, when I first started quilting, just how much started from a half square triangle, Jane. Yeah. So we're going to press those triangles back now to reform the square. And again, you know, just... Do you want me to? Do you want yeah, to? you can do it. Right. <laughs> I don't mind either way. Let's make sure we're actually on screen there. Everyone can see. So just knock back. Yeah, mind your fingers when you're doing it because yes. it is a little tiny triangle. We so. do have um, those rubbery... Oh, the yes. silicone finger guards. They're they amazing. Are, they and if you do clever. a lot of fine work and you have to use an iron, they are brilliant for protecting your fingers. I caught that one properly. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. So now we've got all of the units that we need to create the block. And you know me, I love a nine patch, so here we go, it's a nine patch. I love how those look. 
Definitely Isn't it made. funny? I just love how these look with the stripe. So That's your great. half square triangle goes with the plain um, triangle facing towards the middle and you want to ensure that you've got your um, cream floral fabric at the bottom of your quarter square triangle. Great. And those two half square, square triangles face in. The middle row has got the plain um, large scale print and again on the on the hourglass quarter square triangle blocks you want to make sure that your cream print is facing inwards towards the block. Perfect. And then the bottom row is exactly the same as the top row, it's just turned round Mirror but image, it also yeah. ensuring that your cream print is facing that square. Great. So it's a case of then sewing them together in rows Look at that block, Jane, it's beautiful. And I love how you end up with that sort of cream diamond that comes in there yes, as well. Yeah, it looks like a square within a square, it doesn't does, it? It does, yeah. So when we're putting the um, units together, we'll have our seams, again, facing opposite ways so we can ensure that they are interlocked together before we start joining the, the two squares together. These kits are going quickly, I can see this. So, <laughs> I mean, unsurprisingly, perhaps, because A, stunning quilt, B, fabulous price. <laughs> I was going to say, I think the price so for has those probably of you, helped. Yeah, those of you who are in love with it, and there are many of us, just bear that in mind. I can see those are zipping away. I always find it helps to have the block laid out in front of me on my board as I sew, and I pick one piece up at a time and that will just ensure that I've got the right pieces together. Peeping at some orders we have uh, very wisely, <laughs> I can see, got people who have put in the fabric kit, the instructions, Four units of the super wide quilt back, because that is exactly what you would need yeah. for your backing of your quilt. Um, and they're not forgetting their mystery half meter either. Good Wonderful. for you. Yes, don't forget that, because you'll have qualified with all of that fabric. Absolutely. In your Who doesn't love a bit of free fabric, eh? Well, it always comes in handy. It does. There's last minute gifts or just to have a new stash suit to use and you'll be surprised when it comes you know you'll think oh I've just got the right fabric to go with that exactly it's always good to have it or maybe you just want to buy some you know quilt back to have in your stash for you know doing a quilt in the future like Jane said the the cloud is it cloud the 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 yes. gray toned one yes it's just such a lovely neutral pattern that it will, I mean, it'll look good on the back of this one. Of course. Um, but it will go with any project. It really will blend in with anything. It's lovely. Yeah, two metres of that would be a very wise thing to pop in your stash. I bought some a while ago, a William Morris, that was really lovely neutral tones. And I just loved it too much to let it sit on the bolt. And it was it was a bolt end, Jane. Um, so I measured it out and said, that'll back a quilt for me at some point. I'll just yeah. have the end of the bolt. Took it off the system, bought it. And... Um, you kind of think, oh, have I, have I just bought it and plonked it in with my stash? You know, am I, am I fabric hoarding again? Yes. Um, but the reality is, of course, yeah, I did have a quilt that came up that I was making. And, and you had the perfect backing. It was absolutely the perfect backing. It's going yeah. to look amazing. I'm just finishing piecing the top and then uh, I've already grabbed that piece of backing. It is the right size. I put it with the other fabrics and everyone that comes into the kitchen and sees them together goes, oh, that's going to look amazing on the back of there. Yeah. Yes, it is. And it's all there ready to go. Like, I think, was it John was saying the other day, you put it all together and yeah. you've got that. It's ready. Ready. It's ready, which is just brilliant. So we've got our three rows made and you can see that I've chain pieced these, so I've still got the thread between the rows. But you don't have to do that. You can do them methodically one row at a time. Just put them back in, ensuring that you've got your cream triangle each time facing your middle square. You'll create a different pattern if you do it, if you do something else, and that's not, there's nothing wrong with that. No, nope. but if you want that's this how pattern, these things are created. If you yep. want this pattern, you want your creams facing the middle square. You do. Now I've pressed the seams in on the middle one and out on the top and bottom row. This ensures that when I put them together, my seams nestle, and that again will ensure that I've got nice meeting points. 
in that middle. And we'll just sew those rows together. I'm doing an Inga now. I'm looking at some of these orders that are coming through and looking at what has been put together, Jane. Yes. We have some beautiful pumpkins and um, and gnome fabrics coming through oh, with the bumbleberries that are going to coordinate beautifully and I'm just so itching to know what that everyone's going to make, make with them. Yeah. If you will share your makes with us, um, we'd love it. You know, there is a section on the website where you can do that. You just need to click the community makes tab and you can upload pictures oh, of your yeah, makes. We always love, don't we, to see oh, what we people do. have made. Please bear in mind that those will go into, you know, the greater <laughs> The greater yes. ether, the Other world will be able to see, see them, them. not yes. just us. If you just want us to see something, and again, you can pop us an email, info at natashamakes.com. Yeah. Again, we love to see things, and we will ask you yeah. if we can put it on there. Yeah. Just say for your eyes only, and then we'll know. But yeah, it's lovely, and it's a lovely sewing community, as I find most sewing communities are. We're all yes. very um, inclusive and inspirational and encouraging, I hope, to other people to have a go at things and try different things. Definitely. Oh, I've got a lovely note on an order as well from someone who should remain nameless, you know, for confidentiality purposes, but you know who you are. And she says, please, could you arrange for more hours in the day so that I can make up all these beautiful things I keep buying? It could have been <laughs> written by me, that, that one, Jane. Yes, I, I, could, I, I wholeheartedly agree with that. Absolutely. Although my husband just said to me, you've got a different idea of time. You think there's definitely more hours in a day than there actually are. Because I'm like, oh yeah, we'll get that done. That'll be fine. So we've got that. That's your block. I'm going to give that a oh, good I'm press now. Just press the button again. Give me two seconds because it didn't go over. Um, we, oh, it says here, can you remind me please, how much do I need of the backing fabric? If you are going for the 108 wide, it is the two metres that you need. And if it's standard width, Jane, was it three, three and a half, half? I think. Yeah, three and was a it half. Three? Hmm. 61, isn't it? Yeah, so, so you will need three and a half. Okay. Good oh. So I'm just going to give that a press. Beautiful. Do you want to press this one? There you go. <laughs> um, just pressing that now, just ensuring it's nice and flat trying not to stretch it too much because we still have got biased edges use your flatter and your best press your spray starch especially when you're doing half square triangles it really does help to stabilize your fabric and give you a nice crisp finish to your block okay do you know if you want to pop that back? thank yep. you so that's your block now what you're going to do is you're going to join those rows together with a strip of the sashing should be 12 and a half inches your block should be 12 and a half inches finished there's 12 inch finished blocks so they'll be 12 and a half before you sew them all together i'm going to join your blocks together into rows so you will put a sashing strip between each block so you'll have it's three by three so you'll have two sashing strips and three blocks so just sew it to one side and then on to the other side. Lovely. We've just been asked if we have a fax number. We don't, I'm afraid. No fax machine here. Um, but our, webs our website, we, you know, we have the uploader available if someone wants to pop an uh, image onto, like I say, Community Makes page, and you can upload things straight there. If you want to message us, it's info at natashamakes.com to email. Gosh, we used to have a fax machine when I first started in an office all those years ago. Jane used to make a right racket. It was oh, behind yes, me. Like <laughs> whirring noise that you used to hear when you set a fax machine. Terrible on. noise. We're going to join the, the second block to that, that session strip. I think I've cut this session strip a little bit wide. Doesn't matter, it can always be trimmed down. It can. <clears throat> it's better to cut it too big than not big enough. That's oh, worse. yes a little bit heartbreaking when you're just like half an inch short at the end or something. Oh, Auntie Lizzie spotted the ballad in what I just said a moment ago, for your eyes only. Oh, yes. That one might have to be belted out in the warehouse later. Absolutely. It's great acoustics through there. Yep. <laughs> I know. Gosh, that was a good one. And Karen's with us and says, this is looking absolutely stunning, Jane. Thank you. As is the quilt back. 
Karen. Um, as for a downloadable pattern, the uploader wasn't working for me. It's available, it's ready. It's just not currently going live for me. So SJ, if you are listening, that was emailed across to you. I don't know whether you've had any more joy. It's literally a little technical hitch we've got going, Jenny. So as soon as the uploader allows us to get it live on the site, it will be there. Just at the moment, I'm pressing the button and it's saying no. <laughs> so you'll have your rows joined together like so. Three Look rows like, like that. that with the sashing strip in between each block. Then you're going to make your um, long sashing that goes between the rows. Lovely. And again, the 12 and a half inch blocks, because that's what size, 12 and a half inch strips, that's what size your block is. And then you're going to have a little square. Now, with the bouquet fabric, once I'd cut the strips, I found I was able to fussy cut. Oh, So nice. I got a bouquet in the middle. It's, it's an element that you can try if you want to. It's a little bit wasteful because you have lots of little bits left over, that's but that's okay. fine. Sometimes it's worth it though, Jane. Yeah, it just gives a nice effect. And we're going to join those little squares to each side of the short side of your sashing strip. Now you'll have no I don't know whether you noticed, but I press the seam towards the sashing strip just because there's less seams on that so it lies flatter. So the seams are both pressed in from the blocks in towards the sashing strip. So if you press your seams out away from your little square, when you come to join this sashing strip, the long sashing strip to your blocks, again you've got that nesting seam there. So those seams go out and those seams go in and you will join your rows onto your sashing strip and Lovely. when I get to this size I then do start to pin because it's just a little bit too um, difficult to manage. This is the point at which we need to stop being gung-ho is it Jane? Yes absolutely, <laughs> just take a little bit of time and just pin those especially along the seam just to make sure I think what it is is that the, the quarter of an inch is a little bit wider on this machine or I sew it a little bit wider than it is on the on the um, other one which is why we've got a little bit of an overhang that's okay but that's fine when you're using your machine your seam will be consistent so it won't matter no if it's a little bit wider it'll be a little bit wider on all of your blocks we all say this, don't we, Jane? Try and do your project all on one machine. Try not to go backwards and forwards and yes. so on I different mean, machines. Not many of us have the luxury of about three different machines to use. No, like but we, what we do, we are. Yeah, <laughs> when, I, when I started quilting, I'd do some of my quilting at home and yes. then I'd go into a class yes. on a Wednesday on a and I'd be machine. using you know, their Janome machines and at home I'd be using my brother machine as it was at the time and backwards and forwards and I kept getting annoyed that things weren't exactly bob on and I really thought it was me not being very good at yeah. quilting um, and you soon pulled me up on that. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. Different machines, even their quarter of an inch will be slightly different between yes. machines, even machines of the same make. I can't, yes. I can't accentuate that enough, even machines of the same make yes. can have different quarter of an inches so it's always worth just doing a little test seam before you start to ensure that you've got the right, or you know, you know where your quarter inch is. It's always worth it. But as I say, if you're using the same machine for your projects, it's not going to matter because no. they're all going to be consistent and the same. So oh that's look. how your little sashing strip and your little square ends up, that little cornerstone in the middle. Lovely. And then you just join your rows together. Do another two here, look, so we can see. So I would then join that one onto there. I might just do that. Lovely. So I'll just get that sewn on there. And again, I'm just going to pin that. Um, and then it's, ca it's a case of borders and the borders are cut. Um, the lengths and everything are in the pattern. They are. And you, it's, I like to add mine on top and bottom and then side and side. It's square. So if you want to add yours on side and side and top and bottom, it won't matter because the measurements are exactly the same. Perfect. Cass is saying, Jane, at some point in the future, could we please have Jane do a show on all things hand piecing? Yes. Quite happy to do hand piecing with you. I love hand piecing. 
Is there anything in particular you want to see there, Cass? Let us know. She says, pretty pleased with cherries on top. I mean, if she yeah. asked that nicely, how can well, we say no? Say, how can we refuse? Gives you an idea that's just a f the four patches put together but the, the oh process we'll take the pins out it'll look a lot better <laughs> um, the process is the same whether it's two blocks in a row or four or three blocks um, that's how it comes together and it gives you that secondary pattern of this of the little square there did I bring yeah so then you're going to put as I say the border around so top and bottom side and side then you've got your other borders and it's it just cream, builds yeah. itself out in exactly the same way. So you'd have your cream. Let's um, go to the wide shot, shall we, Dane? We yeah. can show everyone on the and big quilt. The larger border there is the same fabric that's in the middle. Yeah. So that brings it all together. So you can see, I mean, they're slightly upside down on this side, but they're, um, that's the yeah. same fabric. So I was able, when I, you cut your strips, I just use one of the strips to cut the little squares for the inside and as I say I, I managed to fussy cut those it was a happy accident lovely it, it just how it worked out so that was that gives the quilt some lovely balance you know Jane doesn't it because you have got this marrying up with this you've got this marrying up with the little ones here yeah, and it just brings the outside fabrics in really so it, lovely. it sort of gives it a, a unification sort of yeah. brings all the fabrics together and then having this frame that works around every single block yeah. and it's it's lovely it's really lovely and the, the quilting on this is really straightforward. I literally quilted in the ditch on everything. So um, straight line quilting. Yes. And the sawtooth star block, I don't know if we can go on an overhead on here. Yeah, of course. I love the sawtooth star block because from a quilting point of view, you can do it in a continuous line and get every seam. It's just mm -hmm. amazing. So you start up here. You'll go down this seam, you'll come along there, you go up there, ah. down, along, across, down, and back up to where Excellent. you started. And you've sewn through every seam, including the middle. So it's clever. It's one thread and you've done all of that. Brilliant. For the corner ones here, I start I started here, went up, across and down. Right, and then yeah. And then and then went all the way around the block. Clever. It's, I try and do my quilting in as much of a continuous line as yeah. I can. It, not only does it save thread, but it also saves a lot of sewing in events. Well, exactly. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I just, you know. Because I'm quite I'm OCD about the sewing in events. I <laughs> yeah. sit there and I have to get them just, yeah. just right because I worry that the entire quilt will unravel. I mean, it's well, probably this is, yeah, we all think slightly illogical. However, um, I always want them to be yeah. sewn in really securely. And when there's dozens um, all yeah. across the quilt it does it drives you mad yes so that's a top tip yeah and Love i deliberately it. chose the binding the fabric the binding of yes. the fabric to be this fabric clever so you've got this fabric here that is in the binding but then you've also used i'm going to show the back yeah. you've used that matching to the binding and that backing fabric haven't you yes sorry jane i'm messing your display no, up now fine. And actually that quilting looks lovely on the back as well as much as you're saying, you know, gone in the ditch and it's very simplistic. Well, it just gives you the, the, the effect, doesn't it, of the quilt on the back. So, yeah, really lovely. Oh, Jane, you are clever. It's a nice, it's a nice um, traditional patchwork block, but I think the colours of those just set it off beautifully. It's beautiful. Um, well done. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing for us next week, Jane? We've got some more beautiful fabric. We have. It's, got, it's stunning. It is lovely. It's really lovely. I haven't lovely. come up with the design yet. It's it's working its way in my head. I've got a yeah. pretty good idea where I'm going with it. She's yeah. sketching. She's sketching. Yeah. Which means that got by my, the weekend we'll have a fully made quilt. <laughs> <laughs> it'll come yeah. from sketching. My checked pad is out and I'm just like, but yeah, it's, it'll be it'll be there. <laughs> oh no, Lo says, what is this end sewing in witchcraft? <laughs> You've got to do it, Lo. Got to do it. Oh, my mum's here as well. Hi, mum. <laughs> oh Ginny Twin says sorry so late just got home from a hospital appointment don't oh. fret Ginny you can watch us back that's yes, okay that's a lovely 
we're on YouTube, aren't we? We are, and on the Forever website, and, today. and here. You'll be able to watch on catch-up, so that's okay. Get a cuppa, curl up, and do this. Um, Cass says, with the hand-piecing, she would like you to cover everything. Oh, right, yeah, um, just nothing, nothing yeah, much. Yeah. But also, she's about to tackle a curved block by hand, having only done EPP by hand, and she's a little scared that her quilt top will fall apart. It won't. It won't. She'll be surprised. What I will say with curved piecing is start from the middle. Yes. Pin from the middle. I mean, it's like you're sewn from the middle, but pin from the middle. Yes. And then out. Lowe's trying to uh, codge the, kilt, the quilt again. Not happening. And Claire Angelina says, when you're measuring your sashing, measure it to your project and not necessarily to the measurements on the instructions. Yes. And also yeah. measure from the middle. Yes. Don't measure from this edge here. It's got more give to it. Yes. And so, I don't know if it will work on here. There's more structure through that middle, isn't this there? This middle here says it's 26 and a quarter. If oh, I measure it from here, it's 26. So, always measure through the middle of your quilt. So, yes. from the middle for your top and the bottom, from the middle, middle top to bottom. Nor north to south. Yeah, <laughs> for your side yes. pieces. And don't forget, you need to remember, whichever way you're doing it, obviously I put top and bottom on first, you need to remember to add the width of your sashing you but do. if you're doing it correctly you'll have added your sashing then you'll measure it again through the middle so yeah yes absolutely oh diane says thank you so much so many useful tips oh well you're very very welcome yes oh it's here we pleasure. go jenny says this will be a great one for me to do two times three blocks for my charity quilts project but i will choose brighter colors for children yes absolutely and it's this a, is a really versatile pattern it's isn't a it? versatile pattern a pattern that will translate really well with any any fabrics that you yeah. choose to use you know and you could feature any large print in these center blocks and yeah. your outside sashing um but, but equally would work well with with bold colors yeah, yeah. you yeah. could use you know you could use your planes you know you could go into the middle with a pattern and just use planes and other aspects as well couldn't you yeah absolutely. so much you can do this is one of those patterns that needs to be in your armory yes. as something to refer back to absolutely when yeah. you'd written this one and i've proofread and designed it all for you haven't i put it on mm. into printed format i looked at it and i looked at the fabric requirements and i went finally a useful you know the b stash i've got yes yeah that's what i'm going to do yeah, and i was like i've got it. a meter of this and i've got a meter of that and they're bigger prints and so I've worked it all out. Wonderful. Brilliant. But if you well don't done. have your patterns there, you know, then you can't necessarily no, use up that true. stash. Yeah. Yeah. Really handy. I try to keep the patterns um, a good size so that, you know, this would fit on a, on a double bed. It would sit on the top and it would mm. sit under the pillows. It would. It's also a nice size for having on the back of your sofa to snuggle under. But I actually can see this in the garden. Yeah. Yeah. You It'd know, be just great. you know, because we like sitting out in these evenings with this lovely sunshine. Oh, so nice! It's nice to sit out, but actually, as the sun starts to go down, it gets a bit you chilly. You don't want to go in. No, you don't want to go it's in. It's a bit chilly, and nope. having a quilt like that, so summery. It is lovely to have it on your knee. Really nice to have on your legs. Yeah. Oh, well done, Jane. So lovely. next week we have your lovely to be confirmed yes. pattern for Wednesday. I, I kind of want to tell the fabrics, but I'm not going to. I know, it's very hard not to. There's they a particular flower beautiful. featured in there that I'm a fan of. Yes, it's beautiful. So that's exciting. Uh, Natasha's back with us next week. It's her birthday on Monday. Oh, there yes. will be all manner of shenanigans going on, I have no doubt. Uh, she'll be here on Monday with that there Sarah Payne. Oh, lovely. So I shall be makeupless, probably in my pyjamas, slumped <laughs> in a corner somewhere. You deserve <laughs> it. Absolutely Poor Gemma. She needs a holiday next week after all the extra work. She's, I mean, it's fine. Gemma works incredibly hard anyway, but she's worked doubly hard. We all do. We all do. We, um, we do what we can, don't we? We you, do. You seem to have the mammoth task of making sure everything is put together and then I go oh Gems I've written a pattern are you right for putting that together can you put that into, into format for me I've done until silly yeah. o'clock <laughs> oh well it's no fine pressure. it's a pleasure so yes Natasha will be back Monday with lovely uh, Sarah Payne That'll she'll be, be further nice. shenanigating on Tuesday and Jane will be further quilting on Wednesday in between now and then however don't forget the half meter heavens do go live at midnight tonight so we've seen those mm. grab those while you can um today's deal on the quilt and on the backing fabrics as well if you want those that's a today job yes that's a today job yeah i can't take After the mickey midnight, it'll have ongoing gone. let cinderella i'll get into trouble with that their boss lady um Friday deals will be coming up as well, so keep an eye out for your Friday newsletter. If you're not registered for a Friday newsletter, why not? 
uh, email info at natashamakes.com and we can sort that out for you. We also, also have Craft Corner and little things will be getting added to Craft Corner as well as on our fabric clearance page. I have a massive list now yeah. of extra bits and bobs to add on. Little bits of ends of bolts. I was just going to say, with the half meter heavens yes. as well, when you go onto the website, click in the in the right hand corner that says view all, mm -hmm. because it just shows you the first six, I think, it or the does. first three, yeah. or something like that. We've still got quite a good of a vast stock, but some mm. of, of previous half meter heavens. Yes. So there's always some other in our fabric fabrics. sorting where we've been sorting out bolt ends as well. There have been some where I've said. We had a half meter to heaven of that and it was really popular and there's going to be people who want more. So I'm going through and adding a few units on here and there. So bear that in mind. I shall go and get tapping. Yes. Do not disturb. Um, the I'm digital going to go instruction. And designing. Well yes. <laughs> the digital instruction for today's pattern will be up. I think SJ and I have got it sorted, which is great. I've been tapping, yeah. she's been tapping. I think well, that'll be up in the next half hour. So Lovely. keep an eye out. Grab that too. <coughs> lovely to have you with us. Have a lovely weekend and we will see you next week. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>